Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! We're just banging out the work here at Asshole Consulting. You can go to assholeconsulting.com or you can send me your questions if you need guidance, leadership, or a swift kick in the ass. And you will pay for said swift kick in the ass because not a lot of people, I'm the only one that delivers those, by the way. I'm, I have a monopoly on swift kicks in the ass because, well, you all decided to let divorce and feminism ruin men and fathers forever. So, since I am your older brother, the only one to deliver that uh, that little commodity, you will pay. Uh, a young man writes, Hey, so I've been working in finance and accounting for the past few years after graduating with a degree in finance. Unfortunately, I started watching your videos late and didn't realize that my degree in finance would be nearly worthless when I got out of school. I'm stuck doing mundane and near skillless work in professions that will soon be automated. I didn't go to a great school, but I did get a decent GPA, 3.1 overall and 3.8 in my upper level class, non-general classes. I recently got a job working payroll at a very large social media company here in an area. <clears throat> but the work is mind-numbing and doesn't really teach me skills that will be transferable when these types of jobs inevitably get automated, which I predict will ha be happening within uh, 10 years. I recently went to an army recruiter, took the ASVAB, got a high enough score to do anything in the military branch, or do anything in any military branch, and I've been debating whether to go as an enlisted or officer or enlisted. Uh, the only reason I want to go into the military is to get my master's paid for. I've been looking into different analytics or applied statistics programs as I want to do data analytics in the future. There you go, big data. All right. These programs mostly want people with program engineering backgrounds and people who are very tech savvy. I've also talked to people at work who do these type of jobs and they are all former engineers or proficient in programming and writing code. And you can teach yourself how to program code. That's not, well, it's hard, but it's not impossible. They all say that this skill is necessary for the work. I'm not good with computers, so I've been thinking about going in and as enlisted as an IT specialist. The military IT training along with various IT certificates you need doing this MOS would greatly help my chances of getting into a master's program of my choice. I'm in great shape, so I'm not concerned about that aspect of all. So my question is, do you think it's worth it for me to take four years out of my life to go to the military so they can pay for my master's? <clears throat> I could work up, work my way up as I'm already in a great company. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you can work your way up, oh, you young kid. Uh, that should give me some opportunity to grow or at least open some doors for me down the road. I've been looking into just getting my CFA. No, no, no. But most of the people I talk to at work both have masters and the CFA. Dude, you don't want to go to the CFA route. You just go go IT. Go fucking IT. Uh, also, I've been leaning towards enlisted over officer because you could choose what you do MOS, whereas officers, they pretty much throw whatever, wherever they need people. Without the IT experience, I doubt I'd be able to get into a, an analytics master's program. I would like to know your opinion on that as well. Thanks for all the help and keep up the good work. Let me know your price and I'll PayPal over to you. All right. The truth is, I would go officer. They're going to pay you more. You're not going to be getting this shit kicked out of you. You're not. I mean, your, your problems. If they're going, if you're going to have problems with your commanding officer, it's going to be managerial. Whereas if you're enlisted, dude, you're going to be running, jumping, doing grunt work. Yeah, you would. You might get your training. You 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 fine, fine. But why can't you do both? You're going to get higher pay. It looks better on a resume to be an officer. Um, you could study on your own. It's not like you can't take classes in the military. Not like they're not going to pay for it while you're there. Not like if you say, hey, boss, I'm going in as a lieutenant, say, captain, um, thank you for signing me to logistics because that's maybe what a finance guy like you would do. Uh, but I'd like to take some classes in IT. They're not going to say, no, fuck you, you can't do that. I mean, yeah, you're going to be able to take classes. So it's not going to be this tyrannical uh, uh, dictatorial no you can't learn anything outside what what we told you to do so you're gonna have the money you're gonna have well, more money as an officer you'll have school reimbursement and in the four years time you're there yeah I think you should be able to learn the programming skills that you need to go and get yourself a, a master's in data analytics uh, I would think in that case I would take a couple classes in statistics 
uh, financial modeling or just modeling in general, um, computer programming, these are on the side uh, in addition to you being an officer. And in other words, if you're willing to put in the work now while you're an officer, by the time you graduate, or not graduate, by the time you get out of the military, four years, you might make captain, all right? So you're a captain, you're an officer, then you could go into the Army Reserves or the, the National Guard, go part-time. Um, you may find out you love the military, and that's where you've always wanted to be, okay? Again, people are not going to take you seriously until you're 35. Like, how, how old are these guys that are doing what you want to do? How old are they? Are they 22? Are they 23? Or are they more like 30, 34? At least maybe 26, 27, 28, I'd imagine. They're not these kids who are 21, 22. I could be wrong, but I, I'm just saying there, there is an element of bias against young people because, well, in my case, the Gen Xers were idiots and the millennials today are now idiots. So I think if you got your, it would look a lot better if you were an officer in the military, you come out with these skills, you got a couple classes, maybe not a degree or a certification, but you got these skills, you got these classes, then you apply to a master's program and then you have the military pay for it. Hell yes, that's the way I would go. You, you're not wrong in going and saying, like, look, if I was a specialist of some kind and they assign me, you know, I get to choose, well, then I come out of it for the four years. But I think you're totally undervaluing what the military can do for you in the capacity of you being an officer. <clears throat> so that I, I would that, that's my logic of thinking. Uh, and then, yeah, man, then, like, dude, you're like a fucking off the, you might you get put in your 20 fucking years. Although they're changing that now, so you may not get your pension. But then, I, I just, I, the military is not, so, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're like, oh, I could use the military to get this one small thing. I'm like, dude, you're, you're totally undervaluing the military on all these other future benefits you can get. So I'd go the officer route. Um, I might go talk to a buddy of mine, have him do another video on this, see what he recommends, who actually is an officer. But I don't think he can say anything, like, because he's an officer, he doesn't want to be obviously on the website called assholeconsulting.com. But yeah, that's just that's just where my thinking takes me. And for the love of God, avoid that fucking CFA. So few people pass it and by the time you need it, you're already you're already hired and you got a like it's oh I'm a CFA. I pass CFA level one like everybody else. No way. That's 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 a fucking that CFA is bullshit man. That is uh that is progressive credentialism if I ever saw it. Hey, look at this hurdle. Jump over it. Now jump over it again. Jump over it a million times. You did it wrong. Go back and take some more classes. Oh. Anyway, hope that helps. Toodles.